Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 14, Homework. Number 1. Use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. A. Identify the locations of M and N. So here's M. M is at 6, and that is 4. So we have 6, 4. N, the X value is 3, and the Y value is 6. draw M N. So let's get out your straight edge and connect them. Plot the following coordinate pairs on the plane. So we have J which is 5, 7. Label it J. And K which is 8, 5. Draw JK. Circle the relationship between line MN and line JK. So this symbol means perpendicular, and this means parallel which makes sense because these two lines are parallel, these two are perpendicular. So are they parallel or perpendicular? Well, they're never going to in intersect, which means they're parallel. Give the coordinates of a pair of points F and G such that FG is parallel to MN. So we can really plot them anywhere we want. So I'm just gonna move up two more units. I'll call this one F and this one G. So if I were to draw this line it would be parallel because I moved up the same amount of units on each line. So F is at 5, 9 and G is at 8, 7. You could have picked different points, but as long as they're parallel, you will be correct. And then we already drew FG. Number two, use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. Identify the locations of A and B. So A is at four, three and a half. And B is at two, three. draw a b so let's connect them c generate coordinate pairs for c d such that a line a b is parallel to line c d so i'm going to move three units down which is actually subtracting one and a half because we're each interval here is a half so I'll move down and call this one C. Then I'll move down one and a half and call this one D. So line point C is at four, two. And point D is at two, one and one half. If we draw it, look like that. They're parallel. Explain the pattern you used when generating coordinate, coordinate pairs for C and D. So to keep it parallel, what we did is the x value, notice here the x value didn't change. And I subtracted one and one half from the y value. Give the coordinates of a point F such that AB is parallel to EF. So let's see, they've already given us E. E is 
two and a half, two and a half. Is right here. So we need to find F and make sure that it's parallel to AB. So here what I'm noticing is I see that if I go down and over one unit, I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm noticing patterns. If I do that, then it will stay parallel. So this was line this was point E, and this was the F point that we just created. I'll draw the line. And point my point F, your point F could be somewhere else. That's just how I did it, as long as it's on this line that I just drew. So my F point is four and a half, three. Explain how you chose the coordinates for F. So just explain something about how we went down and over and created a pattern to find a corresponding point that would then lead us to F. 